Did you know that Long Beach once had its own indoor mall? And no, it's not the one in Lakewood. History is all around us. Sometimes it gets a little lost. I'm Kurt A. Eichstead, and this is Discovered History. Beginning at the end of World War II, malls began to appear all around the country. One of the first was Lakewood Center, which opened in 1951. Malls became one-stop destinations where people could shop for everything, just like Amazon, only in real life. 31 years later, Long Beach got its own mall, Long Beach Plaza. A collaboration between the city of Long Beach and developer Ernest Hahn, the mall was designed to attract new customers to the fledgling downtown shopping district. Anchored by stores like J.C. Penney, Montgomery Ward, and Buffums, the mall started off with the best of intentions from city leaders. Architecturally, the mall proved to be an uninviting place to shop, with stores that opened onto the inside rather than the surrounding streets. Imagine a two-story blonde brick wall extending down Long Beach Boulevard, one of the city's busiest streets. To make matters worse, beginning in 1988, construction began on the Long Beach Blue Line, which made it even more difficult for shoppers. Still, it wasn't all doom and gloom for the mall. One of the highlights was Buffum's, which used to be here on Pine Avenue. Every city had at least one legacy department store that catered to customers' every need from fashion to food, and Buffum's on Pine was Long Beach's own Grand Dame. Relocated to Long Beach Plaza, even Buffum's found it difficult to survive in the changing shopping environment. Long Beach Plaza closed for good in 1999. Everything was demolished, except for its two parking structures and the WPA Mosaic Mural, which itself was a transplant from the Municipal Auditorium in 1982. Long Beach Plaza was replaced by City Place, which itself struggled to attract shoppers. In the mid-2010s, a new redesign started known as the streets. The design of the streets is diametrically opposed to the mall aesthetic, with its open air feel and plenty of good places to eat. In the beginning, you stood at a counter in the store and told the clerk what you wanted. Today, you sit at a computer and wait for the brown box. It remains to be seen what lies ahead for this space, but it's fun to think about a time when Long Beach had its very own shopping mecca in downtown. Till next time, I'm Kurt A. Eichstead, and this was Discovered History.